Hello everyone, welcome back. Times are getting a little bit tougher. And even if you're not hurting at this point in time, I believe it's time to start looking for ways to stretch things, to make things go a little further, use what you have. And I'm not hurting, but we still are looking at our bottom line. I paid $5.19 a gallon for fuel this week, and that just shocked me. It's crazy. So I want to start looking for ways to reduce what I'm spending, put away what I can, and use what I have. And this year, the garden has been almost a complete bust, almost. Gotten a lot of peppers, they're doing well. My hot peppers are, you know, that's the one thing that has done amazing. I also have a few heads of cabbage. The critters got to the outside part of them, so I have to really cut down into the center, but I have heads of cabbage. So I'm gonna be using some cabbage. I'm gonna be using my friends that passed away this year. I love them dearly, but I had to clean out their freezer and they had elk burger meat. So I'm gonna use what I have. And I've never cooked with elk burger meat before. I've had elk and I love it, but I need to use what I have. So I'm gonna use that elk burger meat. I'm gonna use my home canned beef broth what I could salvage from the cabbage in my garden. And I'm gonna make supper. So I, even, I don't even know what this is gonna be like, but you're gonna find out with me. So come on, let's see what happens. This is mostly thawed, but it's just a little bit frozen, but that's okay. I'm gonna break that up. And if I ever get the chance to go hunting, which I would love to do, I wanna go hunt for elk. The meat that I have had is just absolutely amazing. Although I've heard antelope is very good and we've got a lot of those around here. I'm gonna put some garlic powder. And if that isn't enough, I'm gonna add some garlic salt. And some fresh ground black pepper. And I had previously used these for my ground pepper. These things keep dying on me. I don't need that when I'm in the middle of cooking. So I went and bought this one. So far I'm happy, but I'll let you know as it goes along. I have the elk ground meat, mostly browned. I'm gonna put some unsalted butter in there. I'm 
And you could use salted if you like. This is two tablespoons or whatever. We'll let that melt a little bit. And I've just made a circle in the middle. I'm gonna add one medium chopped onion. I'm just gonna cook this until the onion is translucent. I'm gonna add one pint of my home canned beef bone broth. Now, I do not add salt or any seasoning other than vegetables. So all seasonings will be, happen right here. And one of those, because if you watch me, you know I love garlic. That's about a tablespoon and about a tablespoon and a half. Because what would anything be without garlic? And now I'm going to start adding cabbage. And this is not shredded, it's more sliced and I'm going to add a lot. Because, because cabbage has a lot of water content, so it's going to cook way down. So the cabbage is wilted down pretty well. I'm going to put a nice pinch of pepper flakes in there. And that's optional if you don't like it. If you don't like spicy, don't do that. And we're gonna let this cook a little bit longer and we'll be ready to eat. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Okay, I can never say it unless I'm not recording. I'm going to put some of that. And I, I promise you I can say it when I'm not recording. But when I'm recording, no, can't say it. So... I'm gonna let this cook a little longer and it'll be ready. I've let this cook down and it is really tasty. So I'm gonna dish some of this up. Now, if you want, you can add rice to this, you can add biscuits, whatever you want. We're still trying to watch the carbs, so I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm gonna just serve this just like it is, and I think it's gonna be great. Here it is, my elk and cabbage, I don't know what to call it, but I know it's gonna be tasty. So let me take a taste and Maybe then I can come up with a name.
so good. It's sweet. The cabbage is really sweet. The elk. Elk is amazing. It's, to me, very close to beef. And it just has a wonderful flavor and texture. If you told me this was elk, I wouldn't believe you. So looking for a way to use what I have, cabbage, elk, onion, and broth, and a few spices. This is what I come up with. Thank you for watching. God bless, and we'll talk soon.